I'm on this new drug. It's called TikTok. It's easy to get. If you try it once, you're hooked. You know why I don't follow the trends on TikTok? It's because I want people to follow me and like me for who I am and for what I do, not for me conforming to what society thinks is cool. <laughs> <laughs> Some little 14 year old posts something about why are all these old people getting so brave and coming on TikTok? Let me tell you something about older millennials and Generation X. We were used to playing outside. Now we're locked inside. That doesn't work with us. Not only that, but Facebook got kind of boring for us. You know what I mean? Too much politics and complaining. We were an outrageous generation. We wore fluorescent clothing. We wore rubber band bracelets. We used to tease our hair up to the sky using cans of Aquanet. You know, Facebook? Come on, we were raised with Pee Wee Herman. Craziness. Pee Wee Herman and Facebook don't go together. Hello, Mr. Zuckerberg. Is that a book on your face? <laughs> Facebook doesn't work for us. You know what I'm saying? Not only that, we had the solid gold dancers back in the day. You know what I'm talking about? We were break dancing, spinning on the street on cardboard boxes. All these hot 47 year old moms married to one doing all these crazy dances. These were cheerleaders in the 80s and 90s when it was a contact sport. Let me tell you something. We were made for this stuff. We're a dangerous generation. We wore jeans so tight we had to pull the zipper up with hangers laying on a bed. <laughs> Welcome to the jungle. I don't know if you're Canadian. You can be polite and rude in the same sentence. Excuse me, do you mind not being a fucking idiot? Thank you. I wasn't even gonna do this one because I'm supposed to be roasting Canadian provinces, but fuck it, here goes. Quebec. Everyone in Quebec gets pissed off if you don't speak French, but they get even more pissed off if you do speak French, and it sucks. So just to make sure I really get under their skin, je fais les deux. Tout d'abord, c'est l'Indien, c'est son fait. Also, every time I rip open a box, I rip the French side first. I shouldn't even be doing this in both languages. There's only one bilingual province in Canada, et ce n'est pas putain celui-ci. If you guys really wanted to separate, you should have let the rest of Canada vote too. The only thing worse than the one hockey team you have left is your fucking drivers. Anytime a Canadian sees an idiot on the road, the first thing that goes through their head is, oh, I bet this goof is from Quebec. Et tonton, va chez est On to Northwest Territories. I got nothing. Nobody lives here anyway. Retour au Québec. Montreal is basically one big pothole, which doesn't make any fucking sense because the city's under construction 13 months a year. I can't even make fun of Quebec City because they're still crying that the Nordiques left. Nunavik's cool though. I ain't gonna talk shit. So I'm walking back to my car right now, guys, right? And you're not gonna freaking believe this. Well, I literally cannot get into my car. Dude, what assholes, bro. What a fucking joke, man. Honestly. Okay, TikTok, I have an exercise here that's going to make you better at plate curls. I'm going to do the plate curl with both hands, but I'm going to lower it with one. So here's the raise with two, and this is a 35 pound plate. Raise it with two, lower it with one. And this is for Big dog status. You're supposed to fall in though. Is that what's happening? The power of Christ <laughs> compels you. Guess what? 
It's not that compelling. This is the challenge where you walk up to your significant other with uh, nothing on. Here's how it went. You know why no one has ever said, oh, I want to be a paramedic or an EMT? Because police officers got handcuffs, firemen got axes, we got scissors. Scissors. I guess if you're into arts and crafts, come on. Oh, shit. We got ourselves a little visitor. Hello. What are you doing up here? Gatorade delivery service. <laughs> oh, shit, dude. I'll be right back. <laughs> I went from zero to 16,000 followers here on TikTok in about four weeks, and here's how I think I did it. My understanding of the algorithm is that it shoots out your content to a few people, it sees how those people react to it, and if it's getting a lot of attention, it will blast it out to more people. So ultimately, your goal is to make sure that the first people who see your content are the most relevant people to you and your content, because they're gonna be the ones most likely to like, share, and comment. But how do you find those people? I went about it by doing a getting to know me post with this kind of language at the very beginning, and then listed a bunch of adjectives about myself that I thought would let people know who I am and what I'm about. These are the four adjectives that I started with. One that was kind of broad to cast a wide net. One that was a little more specific and neat. One that was kind of self-deprecating. And one that is true of me, but that I also thought people would want to be true of themselves. I got thousands of new followers from that post, and I went and found the ones who were most like me and then followed all of them back. And in so doing, I think I have trained the algorithm who I am and who should see my content so that I can keep growing. Got a call, two o'clock in the morning. Man calls up, says his septic tank is backing up into his house, and he's got 300 gallons of sewage inside his house. So I say, sure, not a problem. Drive out there, get there about 2.30 in the morning, smile on my face, about to make some money. And a man walks out, his wife and kids, because, you know, the house stinks so bad, the kids are obviously up. And he looks at me, and I've got a smile on my face, about to shake, shake his hand. And he says... What in the world possibly went wrong with your life that you're pumping septic tanks at 2 o'clock in the morning? Well, that's the thing. I wasn't pumping septic tanks at 2 in the morning. I got right back in my truck and drove away. Don't talk to people like they're beneath you. They'll leave you with 300 gallons of sewage in your house.